You know, there are some men that were praising a young man the other day who put everything in his wife, in his mother's account. And they say he's a very intelligent young man. Well, all the young women here now, since men are using him as a role model, you also find your own role model. Because Connie woman died, Connie woman bury her. That is nonsense. You don't follow something evil. You say if that girl is a gold digger, that girl is a gold digger. Well, if the girl is a gold digger, what was he used to do in her? How did he find her? Because there's something he saw in her that attracted her. And he used that thing he saw. So he should pay for what he used. <laughs> Go and call police. Am I talking to somebody here today? What is it? We should begin to live as Christians, not as a world. Are they hearing my voice in gateway? No. Without integration, our marital goals cannot be achieved. Because you can't do big things except you have help. And the reason you are getting a wife is to find help. It is not good that the man should be alone. I will get him a helper suitable. Not an oriaco, it's a helper. Did they hear me? Huh? Psalm 45 verse 10. You know the Bible says the man should leave his father and the mother. We read it in the first one. Huh? So women are always insisting. The man should forget family and follow course. Look at this one. Hearken, O daughter, and consider. And incline, Psalm 45 verse 10. Thine ear. Forget also thine own people and thy father's house. The Bible says, man, leave your father and mother and say, woman, forget your own people and your father's house. Look at the next verse. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is thy Lord and worship down him. He's not, about the, he's not talking about the almighty God. He's talking about your husband. So if I leave father and mother, you two, come up from house, come. Make we meet in the separate room. You're not hearing me. I told them in the first service or second service, I can't remember, when uh, my mom was still alive and then my junior sister was in the house and then she misbehaved toward my wife. She would just do her own thing, go to the kitchen, do all of that. We are just married newly then. And I rebuked her and I told her to get out of my house. And she went and reported to my mother and my mother summoned me. Can you imagine a homie? You're not hearing me. She summoned me. So I, I appeared before the panel. All the men are looking as if they don't appear before panel. You know the panel now, the family panel. And mama is sitting down. And sisters and brothers are sitting down there to confront you on your iniquity. <laughs> so they sat there and they talk and talk and talk. But it's the Bible full my head. When they finish talking, I turn and I say, Mama, the Bible says, For this cause shall a man leave his father and be mother and be joined to his wife, and they two shall become one flesh. I say, Mama, what you didn't understand is according to covenant, you are extended family. Thank you for burning me. This one's extended family. This one is my family now. All of you here have to choose whether you are traditional people or Bible people. You will make that choice. And where you are looking at me now, you are making that choice. And you don't expect covenant things to happen to you when you are a traditional man. So your prayers are wasted until the Bible becomes your life. Are they still hearing me? So you can't hold the woman ransom. Can't hold the man ransom. No. You and her are one. Somebody shall one. 